NPLRD Network y AIB Electromuebles presentan lo mejor del juego de ayer. Yeah, absolutely. Every time we see Jake Odorizzi, it seems like he's building back from something, whether it be coming... Jake Odorizzi to get things going. And a foul tip caught by Corey Lee. Jake Odorizzi with the early scouting report on the Mariners looking good. With Tuve on the move, Yuli Gurriel, a five game. Tuve, he is safe. Double steal works to perfect. His numbers in this series on the year against Seattle, hitting 203. Break ball, grounded left side, past the dive of Suarez and in the left field. Guriel around third and coming home, he will score. Tucker drives in a run, 2-0. It's come to a close, but Kirby, despite three strikeouts, a lot of traffic, poor command. Another 3-2 to Suarez. Swing and a miss, got a fastball by him. That ball hit pretty well in the left field, but Chaz McCormick has the play on it. He'll call off Jake Byers and hold up. Oh, he gets it at 95. George Kirby strikes out Jordan Alvarez for the That's four punch outs for Oda Rizzi, who is Frazier struck out his first ball hit in the air to center field. Jake Myers moving to his right will put it away for the Dwayne. So strikeout number seven for George Kirby, two up and two down. Pitching coach has done a great job with his team. Seven shutout innings for Jake Oda Rizzi. Two hits allowed. Astros lead 2 0. Seven on a pitch. Some of those. Oddities of baseball coming into play here to start this inning and start the career of Bernardino. Lee, one, two. And Yuli lines this one in the right field, going to his right. Frazier, he reaches up and makes the catch. Dubon tags up at second, and he'll get to third. So a productive out for Yuli with that hard line out. So now first and third, one out with Jordan Alvarez to up. Astros looking for their sixth walk-off win, the 1-0. And that's a bouncing ball left side and against the defense, and the Astros will win it. Dubon scores. Three to two, the final in 10. Jordan Alvarez, the walk-off hit. So I think the breaking ball is important, and you saw it right there. That's a really good curveball from Barrios, one down. Yeah, I've seen it the, the last two years, once when Barrios just missed. Struck him out with a high fastball. The white whale for Murillo standing was Javi Baez, but he struck out in and a 2-0 Toronto lead. Good timing, Pat Tabler. As a hitter, when you can wait back on a breaking ball because you have confidence that you can turn on the fastball, it just makes you all the way to the warning track. It's an RBI double and a 3-1 Blue Jays lead. 12 straight Jose Barrios home starts. And it's looking like 13 right now. By Jose Barrios in his call against the Tigers today. Through seven frames of one run, three hit work. Finishes his day, six strikeout. Yeah, he wasn't backing down in that whole thing, Alex Lyon. No, no, after that, Allen saves. Jordan Romano, what makes him so good, Pat? Well, he's got the great fastball, and he's not afraid to use it. He leads the American League in saves. 37 games this season for Romano. He's got the great fastball. He's got the heart of a lion. He was a closer for John Schneider in the minor leagues. They know that he can handle it. He does glove side. He doesn't turn around, and he's done this many, many times this year. Romano has a lot of problems. For the Toronto Blue Jays, 4-1, to one, your final score. First strikeout. Rojas hitting 330 in the last month. And to start game three. Max Fried continues his dazzling work. Love. A counter punch there to Max Fried. We're just underway. Scoreless after one at Truist. A smoke to right field. Well hit. That ball is up off the bricks. 30th double. And his sizzling July continues here at Truist Park. And now they're waving it off for a third. I think that's a double play. And everybody's looking for some kind of explanation. <laughs> He had it in his glove, but you could see he was a base hit. Just a well-placed, hard-hit ground ball that sneaks through that left side. Got us out, hasn't he? Snick's done this a couple of times this year. You want to talk about giving your ace, you know, some confidence. It's going out there. Ask him if he wants to get this guy. Matt Olson says he's got it. Arcia calls him off, inning over. Max Freed, magnificent through seven scoreless innings. Max Freed. Pitch like and it has scored the fourth most runs in the majors as Darno goes down for the offense in the National League. It's Kelly with eight strikeouts, seven shutout. Nine drive right center field, that ball's down. It's up to the Sixth walk-off win for the Braves, second by Austin.
Austin Riley, who sets a new franchise record for extra base hits in the month. Young playing him up the middle. He plugged the gap perfectly, and the Nats are in business. Dickerson, it's a high fly ball into right, racing in Soto. Drops in, it's fair. And Dickerson's first start against the Cardinals. The team that traded him to the Nationals basically one year ago yesterday. And him too. Swing and a miss. He strikes out. And that is back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the uh, third inning for Palante. Out to deep right. And this baby is gone. It's a home run. Three-run homer, Dickerson. He's breaking ball down and in and drops the head of the bat on it. And extends this Cardinal lead. Trying to go down and away with the pitch. That's a danger zone against the lefty. Nice swing by Dickerson. And taking advantage again of an opportunity. And the next. A grounder that's fair inside the third baseline. And it does not hit off the sidewall. Goes down into the corner. Romine is second. And he'll stop there. And satisfied with a two-out double. And a contribution for Austin Romine. That's a loud fly ball to right. And Soto under this one from Goldschmidt. Make him go the other way. Two lifted in the air out to center. It's at the wall. God, he's done it again. Paul DeYoung with the home run. DeYoung, a home run last night. De at the beginning of the season, he swings right through. He has no chance of catching up to a fastball at 96 miles an hour early uh, in the season. The 2-2. And the champion will lead off the uh, bottom of the seventh inning. That's Juan Soto. He has walked and flied out. And he's going a miss and a strikeout of Bell. How about Andre Pallante? This is what the doctor ordered. And here comes Oliver Marmol to make the pitching change. Oh, a soft line drive. And now the Bucklin second in the league and wins in an ERA. Suffered, though, his first loss on Monday against the Nationals. Over the first few innings, looked like a reach. Glacius. See how he scored. I can't, can't imagine it being a low pitch inning as well for Herman. One, two, three through the Dodgers. And his first big league at bat. Unbelievable. Third pitch that he seen. Akon missed it. Second one he took, and the family's reaction. Get that ball. You're keeping that for sure. <laughs> Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Brock. And wait for it. First pitch, you want to throw me a heater? I'm going to put it up near the concourse. That's his first RBI since June the 5th. Coming home is Bryant. And then a nice piece of hitting from Richard. Rips one to right center field. He's got his third hit of the game. He's got a homer. He's got... That'll do it. Finished him off with a curve. Dodgers take three of four in Colorado. In a month that these 2022 Dodgers will remember. 21 and five. The fourth best month of July in Major League history. High to left, fairly deep. Gonzalez will leap. And he will make... On a pitch that clearly, at least according to K Zone, was out of the zone. Adrian Sampson, Slater, and Belt back to the right center field. Slater going over, and that's Dead Man's Alley out here in San Francisco. Hard to get the ball over the wall. We saw Barron do it a billion times, but for everybody else, fair. Lamont Wade Jr. will lead off for of the Giants, a left handed hitter against the right hander, Adrian. Good game so far for. Adrian Sampson, four strikeouts through two innings, nothing for the San Francisco Giants. The catch on the warning track, a long way from first base, Brandon Belt, nice play. Runner goes on a 1-2, oh, no. that is a swing, and a little blooper into left, it's going to get down. That's it's 4 nothing Giants as the eighth and nine hitters. Corner hits this one to left field, and Gonzalez is there. He made a great play on the, may have been the last out tonight, from Carlos Radon. What a performance if it was his last pitch is out two with the bases loaded. It's Dave Rosen with the breaking pitch. Jimenez out on strikes. The two strikes. Ted, he made a jump at it, but they will take a 2 nothing lead. Uh, fine base run. See, head down. Let's go. If they catch it. It's a double play, but they did not. And now Jose Ramirez will step in. They go to third, and they throw it away. Up the left field line. He heads to the plate. And he is safe, scoring, standing up. Juan came up with that ball and potentially made it. Gets by, where is it? Get out of here. Pushes him, and then here comes the throw. Up to the right side. That's going to get a run home. 
out at first. Chang scores. 2 Cleveland leads it. And he is out on strikes. So McClanahan gets him. And that's the difference. That's the difference. One, two, three, but a 12 pitch. And he advances to third. And it's 3-3. Three, three. So the Rays come back as Choi drives in his second run of the day. And this one ties the game. Making an outstanding grab. Got a good jump and raced on a straight line into left center field to make the catch. Off the bat, I thought it was a coin flip. And it comes up. Tails never fails. Today, ground ball beats it into right. Peralta is aboard to open the bottom. So the newest member of the Rays, the 34-year-old outfielder, has it. Emmanuel Clase will try and accomplish that. He is offered a short. Rosario. Book it. Cleveland wins the series from the Rays here in St. Pete. They take the finale by a final score of five to three. They finish. Alonzo drives one toward the right field corner. That's a fair ball. Lindor will score. Alonzo Ogelbach hammers one to right. That's a base hit. Alonzo gets the stop sign at two nothing. Dana batting 265 with seven home runs and 32 runs batted in. And Canna drives him in, a base hit to right. Vogelbach scores a three-run first inning for the Mets against Pablo Lopez. Hard hit ball there by McNeil. It's another hit. Bouncing to the wall, Jeff McNeil two for two today. Right field getting a lot of action today. That is going to one-hop and go over. up the middle. And Wendell steps on the bag. There you go. All right. Fishman gets the final out of the fourth. Jake Fishman's first full in. There's another four. Guillaume straight down the third. Zika hooks a base hit to right. Guillaume will be held at third as De La Cruz shows off his arm again. Another hit for the Mets. The bouncing ball. That should get a run home. Nimmo going to first. He's safe. That gives Brandon an RBI as Guillaume scores. The Mets have a 7 0 lead for Nimmo. Drives in. There's the ball in the air. Deep to left field. Cannon's going back on the track at the wall, and it's off the wall. Caram's away. This one's out to right. And it's off the wall. That'll be an extra base hit for. And now this one into left and deep and gone. Home run for LeBron is first in the big league. I hope the family stayed in right center field. Nimmo's going to be waved around. Number three in the third. And this will get away. So Conor in the second inning for Nomar Mazzara. And gone oh, a home run. Luis Arise ties the game with his sixth of the year. Down. And Tim Beckham as the Friar faithful stand as one at Petco Park in six. Hammered down the left field line towards the corner. It's going to be a base hit. One hops up against the fence. And Alec Baum on his way into second with a laser double. The base hit. And the Phillies are going to take the early lead. That one's going to trickle to the warning track. And JT will get to second base with an RBI double. Back-to-back -back doubles for the Phils. And it's one nothing here in the top. I mean, he pummels this ball to left field. It's almost like a power-hitting right-handed hitter. He hits it so hard. Here's JT. He was two for two. One ball, two strikes on JT. Double play depth on the infield. Runners not well by Baum. Around third, heading home. Reynolds' throw goes toward the cut. Oaks one out. Have a day. Mark Appel takes over for Aaron Nola. Spectacular week, weekend at Pittsburgh for the Philadelphia Phillies. They win it eight to two after the pot. On to first, yes. Red Sox will turn the double play and get out of the inning. Angle fly ball left field, hit deep. That one is going to be off the wall. Takes a big bounce out to Bradley. The throw oh, hammers one deep to left field, and there it goes. Another home run for Renfro. Two games. When he is hot, he can carry a team, which is what he's doing right now. Put him away on three straight pitches right down the middle. He's done a lot of interviews since in the third inning. Last five outs via the K. He's got five punch outs. As Renfro shoots one into left field, a base hit. So McCutcheon to second. Renfro's got he just missed a home run. By five feet, anything but a pop-up. Today, they've got six hits already today. Hit hard in the right center field. That's going to get down. 
All the way to the wall it goes, and Adamas on his way to second. Oh, that's a fair ball. Sanchez is in. Jackie Rodman, and he's going to score. And Xander comes through, line to right, down into the corner. That'll get it done. Here comes Xander in to score. Second basket stopping there. And the Red Sox keep the line moving on top, four to two. Looking for more now. Milner out of the pen, the lefty. Taking on Alex Verdugo, has gone over two today. And that one's lined to left field. That's going to bounce. Shot toward the gap. There's nobody out there. That takes a bounce and goes right over the top of the bullpen and brings in the run. Jackie in the second with a double. That was an absolute rocket. It's a doubles day at Fenway. As the Sox had another and a ground ball. Sanchez up and over. And the Red Sox win this. They doubled their way to a 7-2 victory over Milwaukee today. And in the air to left center and deep on the run. Judge makes the catch. He is such a good center fielder, along with many other things. Zach had tremendous command of his fastball in his last start. And he's off to a good start against his first batter today. Judge nine homers in his last night. So swings, lines it sharply to left. But right there is the left fielder Prado to make the catch. And the Yankees go in order. We head to the second inning of play. It's the Royals nothing and the Yankees nothing. Goes into the corner. Carpenter round first goes to second. Puts up another zero. We go to the fifth inning here in the Bronx. Ground ball fair over the bag and up the right field line. That'll get Melendez home. Prado stops at third and Garcia who wasn't able to get the bunt down. Fly ball right field. Melendez back. He's on the track. He's at the wall. See ya. A two run home run the other way. 4-3 roll home run into the second deck. A three-run shot. And the Yankees lead 6-4. I'll tell you what, Anthony Rizzo, his production with his home runs. Some really good things are going to happen for the New York Yankees. Well, Paul, we've talked a lot about Aaron Judge and maybe opposing pitchers pitching around him. Here is Hunter Dozier, right-handed at the leadoff against Marinacci. Now Dozier hits one into deep left field and that's going to be gone run of the series Salvador Perez has been back with the Royals for three games and he has driven in seven runs and the Royals have the lead eight to six ball right field Stephen Piscotty is back circles now and puts it away shy afternoon for Dylan Cease it will bring up Laureano at least slugging this year just 200 on breaking pitch. Laureano hits one high and deep to left, and that baby's gone. He's here comes Sheets, and he's about 50 points better as a DH for whatever reason. Josh Harrison, one hit in six at bats in the series. It was a two-run homer on Friday. Driven out of the right. Piscotty will not get there. That's a base hit. Here comes Harris. He hit like a third baseman. You drive home your 18th run. And they're not done yet. There's Sebi Zavala. Center field. And that will bounce out of play. It's a double. It's three to one. Number five. Another three two. And he got him. Offer cut by Elvis Andrews. And he struck him out on a slider. Three in a row, seven on the day for Dylan. Jimenez, 236, four homers and 15 RBIs. First pitch back over 500. Plenty of save of the year for. NPLRD Network. Síguenos en todas las redes sociales y suscríbete a nuestro canal de YouTube.